Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Unbox Pioneer. In this video tutorial, we will learn about some interesting topics and some more commands of AutoCAD that will help you while using AutoCAD. And the topics are first of all, we will learn about polygon command, then we will learn about polyline command, then we will go for arc command and its types. And at last, we will come to know about how to make a tangent line. So let's start the tutorial video with some interesting topics. We will learn about polygon command. Actually, a polygon stands for two dimensional shape formed with straight lines. Triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons and hexagons are all examples of polygon. There are two ways in which you can draw a polygon. First one is known as inscribed polygon. In inscribed polygon, it will create a polygon in between your periphery of circle. You can see the inscribed polygon which I have already drawn. And the second one is known as circumscribed polygon. It will create a polygon in the outer side of the circle. As you can see here, we will draw both the inscribed and circumscribed polygon to let you know more deeply. So to draw polygon, the command is P O L enter or else you can go to draw toolbar and select the polygon command directly from here then enter the number of sides of the polygon you want to draw i will go for six sides of polygon therefore i will put six enter Remember, you can draw minimum three sides of the polygon and the maximum sides of the polygon you can draw is 1, 0, 2, 4. Then specify the center of polygon if you have a circle or else you can define the center point anywhere. Then go for inscribed or circumscribed as per your required. You will not find any result of inscribed and circumscribed because there is no circle it is just a simple polygon creation procedure let's move how to draw an inscribed polygon first of all i will erase this one then first of all draw a circle of any radius I will draw a circle of radius 50 then go for UL enter for polygon then specify the number of side I will put 6 side of polygon then specify the center point for polygon my center point is this one then select inscribe in circle then specify the radius of circle our circle radius was 30, sorry 50 so i will put 50 as my radius again so here is the result of inscribed in circle polygon let's move to the second one which is known as circumscribed circle the procedure was just the same as inscribed polygon First of all, draw a circle of any proper radius. I will draw a circle of radius 50 again. Then go for POL enter. Then specify the number of sides of polygon 6 enter. Then specify the center of polygon. Then here you can select the circumscribed about circle. Then specify the radius of circle as our circle radius was 50 
I will put the radius as 50 here then enter so here is the result of circumscribed about circle polygon I hope you find it easy now let's move to our second topic which is polyline command actually what does a polyline means a polyline is an object that consists of one or more more line or arc segments a rectangle is an example of polyline that you are already familiar with a polyline is a connected sequence of line segments created as a single object you can create straight line segments arc segments or a combination of the two the main difference between line and polyline is that a line is a single straight object with two ends and no width it can have a line weight which is not the same as width but a polyline is a continuous object with multiple straight and arc segments it can have global width and segments can have individual widths let's see how to draw a polyline in AutoCAD I will draw a rectangle using polyline so for this enter the command PL enter for polyline or else you can directly go to the draw toolbar and select polyline command from here then define the start point I will take my start point here then the height I will put is 50 enter then the width I will go for 100 enter then again 50 then again 100 then press the ESC button escape button from your keyboard to release from the command so here you can see your polyline has been created with a single entity let's take an another example of polyline using both line and arc segments for this first of all put the command pl enter for polyline then specify the first point and also you can see your start point then define the height i will go for 50 enter then define the width i will go for 100 enter and then from here I want an arc segment of 50 radius what I will do is from here press A enter then for radius press R enter then specify the radius of the arc I will go for 50 enter then define um, I want a height of 50 also here I want 50 so I will put 50 and enter then from here to here I want again a line segment what I will do is go for line L enter then define the width 100 enter then press the escape button to release from the command you can see here I have a single entity of a line and arc segments so this is the use of polyline you can create a multiple designs with a single entity using the polyline command now let's move to our next topic which is about arc commands and what are the arc types for arc the command is arc enter or else you can directly go to your draw toolbar and select the type of arc you want to draw from here so let's go for what are the arc types with proper examples so our first arc type is known as 
three point R type. Before drawing, I will erase my screen. Then to draw a three point arc, we need an object which has three points. So first of all, let us draw an object which has which have three point. I will draw a rectangle here. Then I will put a line. So this is our object in which we will draw a three point arc. To draw a three point arc, go to draw toolbar and select the three point arc type from here. Then specify the start point of arc. I will take my start point as this one. Then specify the second point of arc. Then specify the end point. Then specify the end point of arc. I will take my end point as this one. That's all. Your three point arc was created in three points. Next arc type, which is known as start, center. End. To draw this arc type, I will draw a line here. So this is our line. To draw the arc type of start, center, end, go to draw toolbar and select start, center, end arc type from here. Then specify the start point of arc. This is my start point. Then specify the center point of arc. Our center point is this one. And then go for the end point of arc. You can see here our arc was created with start point, center point, and end point. Then the third arc type is known as start center angle. To draw this, I will undo it first of all. Then to draw this start center angle arc type, go to draw toolbar, select the start center angle, then specify the start point. Then define the center point. Then specify included angle. Suppose I will put 90 degree. The arc will be generated at an angle of 90 degree from the start and center point of this line. If you want the arc upside, what you will do is select the start center angle and give the start point here and your center point here. Then define your angle at 90 degree. So here it is. That's all about the start center angle arc type. Let's move to the fourth arc type which is known as start center length. First of all, I will undo. Then to draw the start center length arc type, go to draw toolbar, select start center and length. Then define this start point of arc my start point is this one then define the center point of arc then specify length of core suppose i want an arc 
of length 45 I will put 45 and enter that's all your arc is created at a length of 45 from the start and center point now the fifth arc type is known as start and angle to draw the start and angle arc type I will undo it then go for start and angle from the draw toolbar and you can select the arc type from here then specify the start point then specify end point of arc my end point is this one then specify the included angle suppose i want a arc of angle 90 degree i will put 90 enter that's all your arc has been created with an angle of 90 degree let's move to the sixth arc type which is known as start and direction to draw the arc type i will undo the previous one then go for start and direction then specify the start point of arc then specify the end point of arc then specify the tangent direction for the start point of arc suppose i want a arc of 90 degree at this direction i will go for the ortho of to let you show clearly I want an arc at this direction so I will put 90 and move the cursor upward or enter that's all then our next arc type is known as start and radius To draw this arc type, go to draw toolbar and select the start and radius from here. Before I will draw start and radius arc type, I will undo the previous one. Then go for start and radius from the arc type of draw toolbar. Then specify the start point. Then specify the end point of arc and then specify radius of arc I will put a radius of 100 enter that's all your arc was created at a radius of 100 from the start point to end point next arc type is known as center start end to draw this arc type Go to draw toolbar then select start sorry center start and from here before I will show you the center start and arc type I will undo the previous arc type and then I will go for this center start and first of all specify the center point of arc then specify the start point of arc And then specify the end point of arc that's all your arc was created from the center point to start and end point let's move to the ninth arc type which is known as center start angle this arc type is vice versa to the start center angle it means if you want to draw an angled arc from start point to center point then you can go for start center angle but if you want an angled arc from center point to start point this 
you can go for center start angle from the drone toolbar then the next arc type is known as center start length this arc type is also vice versa to start center length you can choose the arc type as per your requirement the last arc type is known as continue arc type to draw this arc type go to draw toolbar select continue arc type from here then your start point will be auto defined then specify a end point of arc make the ortho of then define the end point of your arc remember this arc type is for free selection you can define your end point as per your required that's all about the arc type guys then our last topic is about how to make a tangent line for this first of all i will take two circles i will clear all this then i will draw two circles from here and one circle here then go to o snap option and right click on o snap go to settings then from here clear all the selections and make a selection of tangent only then press okay to draw a line go for and enter i want a line from this to this with a tangent tangent means you can properly draw a line from here to here and again i will go for a lander and i want a tangent from here to here so tangent line has been created with this circles it's all in this video guys i hope you all find it easy and learn something better from this tutorial if this is then please guys subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates from our channel unbox pioneer if you have any problem in understanding our video tutorial you can drop down comment in the video comment section or you can mail us at unbox pioneer at the rate gmail.com and also you can follow us at our facebook page twitter twitters or and also on instagram in the next video tutorial i will bring some more interesting topics on rotate command then we will learn about all details of layers and finally we will know how to call a layer in a different file so thank you guys for your love and support see you all in our next video tutorial soon thank you